Have you ever considered later for Pinterest scheduling? Well, today may change your mind on which Pinterest scheduler you want to use because I am giving you a full tutorial on how to use later for your Pinterest scheduling needs. Yes, I'm venturing away from Tailwind. I am venturing away from native platform scheduling and I'm going into four brand new Pinterest approved scheduling tools on this channel in an upcoming series. This is video number one where we break down later. Now, as part of my tutorial, I wanted to show you from start to finish of actually signing up for your account and what that looks like through to actually getting your content in your schedule and it going out on Pinterest. So I wanted you to see the full spectrum of what this actually looks like. So the things that I'm gonna show you in the tutorial is actually signing up connecting your Pinterest account. I want you to see how easy this is or how difficult it is through the process, as well as uploading your content, optimizing your content, scheduling it, and then what analytics you actually get inside of the tool. So I'm going through six different things, pricing being the very first place that we start into signing up all the way through to looking at what analytics later offers for Pinterest inside of their tool. If you don't know who I am just yet, my name is Heather Ferris. I run a Pinterest agency and a membership, as well as this YouTube channel, where I talk all about paid and organic Pinterest marketing. I have seen and managed hundreds of Pinterest accounts over the last five years in both advertising and organic marketing on this platform. So I think I have been around the block for quite a while and I can bring you a tutorial that is not tailwind and I feel good about it. So without further ado, let's hop right on into that tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of actually setting up from right here at starting your free trial to actually scheduling your pins. So we're gonna go ahead and click start our 14 day, 14 day free trial. Now you'll get that screen immediately after putting in your name and email address to sign up. And we're just gonna go ahead and go with a monthly plan for their most popular. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna keep the scheduling tool afterwards. So the 14 day free trial of $25 a month works for me for this tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and click 14 day free trial. Once you are done, it'll say 14 day free trial started. You'll get a green little pop-up box and it should automatically redirect you to the next part of the process. So we're gonna go ahead and connect uh, our Instagram account, although it says you'll be able to collect, connect other platforms later. Our whole goal here is Pinterest. Now we need to go to settings in the bottom left hand corner and we want to connect our Pinterest profile. Okay, that's what you do. You go in and remove Instagram and then add Pinterest and then you don't need to actually set up anything extra. What a pain in the rear. Okay, now it's gonna automatically take you to this screen. This is what I was hoping for. It's gonna you need to be logged into your Pinterest browser and then go ahead and give access. Now, since Pinterest and Later are API approved, they are official partners, there is no issue or harm in connecting them. Now we have our social set here. So again, when this was listed as Instagram, go ahead and remove it and then choose your social set. Now that we are inside of our Later scheduling calendar so over on the left you can see it says calendar we're actually going to need to upload some media to schedule these pins to our queue now one thing i will mention is that later doesn't have a smart scheduling feature and that's okay you'll choose your own dates and times but for a feature ad in the future that is something for pinterest users i'd like to see that actually be something integrated so you know you're scheduling when your users are online so to actually add content to our queue, we are going to either upload them here or we can use our later extension here. Now I already have this blog post opened up and I have a, an image ready to go. So you're gonna right click on that and click add to media library. It's gonna open up this screen. It's going to prompt you to add it to your library. And once it's in your library, then you can go through actually scheduling that pin. So we're gonna go ahead and click add to library. Now these are just notes. They're not actually gonna show up in the scheduled pin. And we're gonna click okay. And then we are gonna go back over to later and we're gonna refresh our screen and our 
image will be there. Now the other way we can go about doing this is actually doing an upload. So we're going to click upload media. Now you do have two other options, Google Drive or Dropbox. If you're working with a team, perhaps a Pinterest VA, this might be a good option to connect those together and then you can add media straight from a saved file. So once we have our media inside of our library, we're going to click and drag it onto our schedule. Then it's going to pop up this screen and we're going to choose a date and time. So we're going to say, okay, 831 on, um, at 11.20 a.m. And then the very first thing it's going to have you do is actually choose your board. So we're going to choose the most appropriate board for this. And then we're going to give it a title. And then it looks like the notes are pulling into your description, which we will need to remove those. We'll go ahead and put our URL down there. And I have a pre-written pen title and pen description. Now, this is something that I actually teach my academy members and that we do for all of our clients is to pre-write our very optimized Pinterest title and descriptions in advance. That way, the scheduling part of your workflow actually goes really fast. Okay. So once you have uploaded all the information that you want to go with this image from later, you are going to be left with your more options section down here at the bottom. Now we're gonna add our link and something that you can do right inside of later is to track your website links, clicks, as a result of that pin from later. Now I will say, Pinterest shorteners or link shorteners are not allowed on Pinterest unless it's from an API approved partner. So this little button is totally okay to turn on just in case you've ever heard that before that you can't use link shorteners on Pinterest. Go ahead and click save and it's going to save that image right into the schedule where you put it. Now you're going to go ahead and do this for each variation. So if you wanted to add this to maybe another day, you're going to drag it onto your schedule again and you will need to re-optimize it again. Now, if we click into this one, let's say we wanted to edit this pin. We put something in there that was wrong and we need to edit it. You just need to open up that image on your schedule and you can edit it and click save and it's good to go. So that's the basics of scheduling with later. It's pretty straightforward. The actual like ease of use of actually scheduling your content and uploading your content. Once we've scheduled our content and we've been using this tool for quite a while, we may want to look at our analytics. So I just wanted to quickly show you your analytics tab and you get two tabs inside of this one. One is overview and one is pin performance. You can also drop down and it looks like you can only look at all boards. And then perhaps when the pins actually start pinning, you'll be able to see which boards in here. Again, this is new to me. I've never used any other scheduling tool other than Pinterest and Tailwind. So I'm learning right along with you here. But you will be able to see pin performance from any pins scheduled from later once they start publishing here. You can also track your followers and your growth over time. So that's it for your later scheduling tutorial. Okay, so now that we're done with the tutorial, if you got value from this video, could you do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up so other people like you who are looking for alternatives to Pinterest scheduling can see this video too. If you enjoyed this video, I really think that you're going to enjoy this video because in this video, I actually walked through four different Pinterest schedulers and rated them on a scale of one to five. And later is the first tool that I actually review in that video. So if you want to see my full review of four Pinterest approved schedulers that are not Tailwind, head on over and watch that video. In the meantime, that's it for this one. I'll see you next week.